a lot of people are beginners and a lot of the questions that you you put together, I get these same kind of questions. So this is a fantastic list. But before we get to the beginner stuff, OECP, I think if I remember correctly, you, when you did your OECP, you put together a whole list of resources that people can use if they're studying for OECP, right? Yes, that's correct. So when I was studying for my uh, OSCP, I was a beginner. Um, like I literally had to l- learn how to use Nmap because no one taught me how to do that in school. Um, and so I um, I felt like um, at the time, um, the OSCP material was not enough to teach you everything that you needed. Uh, since then, it went through a major update that kind of covered those gaps. But at the time, it didn't have uh, that update. And so what I did is I enrolled in a platform called Hack the Box. And I followed TJ Null's list of OSCP, of Hack the Box OSCP-like boxes. So they're essentially um, boxes in uh, the Hack the Box platform platform that are similar to the boxes that you'll see in the OSCP labs. Now, the nice thing about that platform was that uh, these were retired boxes. And so you had a lot of people write blogs on how to solve these boxes. And then you also had videos like Ipsex videos, like great guy. He's like, I I credit most of my pen testing knowledge to him. I've never met him. um, But if I ever do, I owe him a cup of coffee. Um, But um, the idea is that um, I was able to kind of learn from people who are pen testers who have gone through the OSCP, who have hacked these boxes. And then I developed uh, kind of my methodology on um, how to pen test. And then from there, I was able to practice in the OSCP labs and get my OSCP. Uh, certification. Of course, since then, a lot of courses came out. And so the path that I would recommend is a little bit different from mine, but that's how I personally got started. 